Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah from Teacher is Happy and today I'm going to be doing my Smeg fridge flip. Um, I bought this Smeg fridge on Facebook Marketplace a little while ago and unfortunately it's very rusty. I actually have never even plugged it in to see if it works but I'm sure that it does and I'm going to restore it to its former glory. I'm excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of videos on all sorts of different subjects on film, photography, design, creative writing, craft, all the things that I am interested in. I actually did a class by Thomas Frank, who is an author, a YouTuber, a creative, and it was called Productivity for Creatives. And it was all about just doing creative work effectively, which is not something I'm great at as someone that works like silly amounts of hours during the week. Um, finding time to do creative work productively is something that, yeah, I definitely need work on like running my YouTube, my Instagram content creating, doing things that I love like craft and filmmaking. I love that it only went for about 60 minutes and it was broken up into lots of little videos. So I could just sneak one in here and there when I had some time. So that really fits into my very busy week schedule. If you want to try out Skillshare for yourself, make sure you click the link below. The first 1000 subscribers will receive a one month free trial. So go and check it out. Today we are actually going to buy a pink Smeg fringe. 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 We're going to oh, buy yeah. a fringe. New fringe. Uh, it's a pink Smeg fringe. Bryce saw it on Facebook Marketplace this morning and he knows that I wanted one for ages. It does have a little bit of rust on the side. So we got to like suss out the quality, but I'm hoping we can still take it home and either like redo it up and keep it for ourselves or redo it up and sell it just depending on how well it works um but i'm really keen because they're normally like two thousand two hundred dollars or something ridiculous um and they're selling it for three hundred so i'm hoping that yeah we can get it do it up and maybe we can put it as like our second fridge because i think it's probably not going to be big enough as our main fridge and we're going to put it in our new um, we're making like a cool like office space that we're both going to use so yeah i'm really keen and i'm just hoping it's not like a catfish um because it's like a 40 minute drive away so <laughs> hoping when we get there it's still there because there's so many comments on the facebook post and yeah hopefully it's still there when we get there Luckily there was like another guy there to help as well, but the fridge, there's definitely like spiders and stuff in the bottom of it. It looks a bit trash from that angle, but the front of it's perfect. So I'm really keen and it's like the perfect color pink. Do you think I should, oh, do you think I should sit in the back? Um, no, we'll be all right. Once it's we like there. moving there on the trolley. It can't really go anywhere. No, I know, but I don't know. Just for car safety purposes. It's just the way out, right? Yeah. But yeah, so I'm so stoked. It is a pink fridge and it's like the perfect Straight pink. It's not straight where we came from isn't it I yeah straight straight from. this follow this the whole way up um but yeah it's like the perfect pink it's not too bright pink it's like pastel pink so nice i just can't wait to clean it up so i needed ship like a little bit off uh, i can't get it off how the heck do you get it off oh that's not gonna be enough is it is that gonna be enough? But we actually are going to spend today restoring it. Actually, not today, probably the next few days. I don't think we'll get it done today. Restoring it. We just chipped off some paint um, off the side of it because it is, um, what do you call it? Like rusted. It's and all bubbly. like, yeah, rusted and bubbly along like two parts of like two of the panels. So we're hoping if we can like scrape that back and then get spray paint that's the, like a color match, but you know, fingers crossed because it's a very, old fridge and I'm just hoping it all works out because it is so nice and like my dream fridge the front door is fine it's just the side panels yeah are rusted and I, I think if you leave it rusted like I don't know if the rust like grows like it gets worse <laughs> so if we can fix it today that is it these was 120 120 and, and then 240. 240 so true the 120 first yeah, and then so the 240. This one. 120 is like a lot more coarse and then yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just gonna get us a sanding block. And then we got this white knight color and paint and prime so you don't have to prime it which is ideal. It's like literally the same color as my nail. 
You have to get a sausage. Like, you just can't come here without one. That's the rule. Donating to charity. It's charity. What's our weekly charitable contribution? Mm hmm. Gosh. So I've done a few layers now of the rough sandpaper. So now I'm going to go over with the softer one, which is more like, I don't know, like a buffing sandpaper, I guess. I don't know what the technical name is. Unfortunately, as I was sanding it back, more and more paint was coming off. So it just wasn't having the desired effect I wanted. Eventually I was able to buff it all back, but it took a really, really long time and lots of playing around. I wiped down the entire thing as well and I decided it was time to try the spray paint, which was the completely wrong color. So I picked up some paint samples and took it back to Bunnings where I got a new primer and a new color paint, which was a much better color match. It certainly wasn't perfect, but it ended up drying really nicely. After I did the first prime, I thought this was such a fail. It didn't cover up any of the spots, but luckily by the end, it definitely did. If you have a look at the internal, there was a lot of issues with rust and cracks and things that would actually stop the function of the cooling system. So I was able to put some spackle in some cracks and definitely had to wipe down the entirety of the fridge and put all the pieces back together. Unfortunately, I couldn't hide the rust that came from the drinks tray, but I was able to just pop it back into place and we'll just pretend that rust was not there. Like you can see here, I was spackling some of the cracks just to make sure that there was no cold coming out. I don't know if that was like the best way to do it, but I definitely think it will hold up for the meantime. I also sprayed down the back just to make sure that the airflow and things from the back of it was working. And then it was time to see if the fridge actually worked, which it did. And I was so excited because it got cool really quickly and the light worked and our fridge sealed really well. I'm so sad you guys didn't get to see the final reveal of the fridge in the space that it's intended. Unfortunately with lockdown at the moment, if you didn't know that Sydney and Greater Sydney were in lockdown, it means construction has stopped. So we can't continue with our renovations right at this moment, hopefully soon. Um, so hopefully eventually you'll get to see the fridge in its intended spot working its butt off keeping things cool It looks good. It works. I'm so happy. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this one I'm really enjoying watching all the new videos and learning so much in lockdown and I love that there are no ads Make sure you check it out for yourself below in the description bar and for watching this one. Thank you kindly oh, oh.